welcome back everybody and today we're talking about the same bike LO26 now we've talked about this bike quite a bit I've already done three episodes about it one about reviewing the bike from stock uh, and two others about upgrading this bike you know I can't stop thinking about the idea of taking this cheap electric bike that is only under about a thousand dollars and seeing how far you can push it there's a great community around this bike I think probably because of the idea that it's obviously folding but also it's full suspension and I think there's a big question out there about can you take this bike uh, with some upgrades and take it on a mountain bike trail uh, doing some little more aggressive off-road stuff now in the last video I did take it off-roading but I didn't take it on a mountain bike trail of course I'm not a professional electric mountain bike rider the only way I can really communicate these ideas is really just to compare it to another electric mountain bike that I have so without further ado let's check it out now if you've watched my previous video you saw I upgraded the same bike and I did the handlebars the grips the shifter modified this so this is more like a thumb throttle front suspension the wheels and the inner tube bottom bracket rear suspension to a uh, DM rear air shock pedals three, six seven speed and the rear free uh, this is the 350 watt version so keep that in mind I also brought with me the overfly sportsman which it's a bike you've probably never heard of but has more of a traditional style mountain bike feel to it it is a rear hub 500 watt electric motor so here's our trail we are here now i'm not actually going to do the entire trail i'm only going to do a uh, short section of it because you know i don't have four or five hours to do this um, so we're probably going to do this twice on each bike and i'm going to time it but timing won't be as important as far as comparing because this bike is obviously more has more speed but uh, the, the most important thing will be how does it handle in comparison. All right, here we go. Oh. oh, took a dip there. Oh. It says 28 seconds, we'll say five minutes and 17 seconds. 0.74 miles uh, total distance. Average speed, 8.1 miles per hour. There you go. All right, we're gonna do it one more time just to make sure it's a fair assessment, but I need to put, here we go. Three, two, one. So the second time's always the fastest one, right? Woo!
Oh, almost lost traction. So that second time around, we got it at five minutes and seven seconds. 0.71 miles, average speed 8.3. This bike is pretty nimble. The, uh, the, the speed is perfect, uh, well balanced. Now it's not a mid-drive electric mountain bike, so it's got that extra weight on the back, but it's not full suspension, so it's not quite as much of a factor. But having all that weight in the center probably would make a difference. For comparison purposes, it actually works out quite well because the LO26 same bike has also a rear hub motor. The most important factor here is gonna be how this bike handles in comparison to the same bike LO26. bike is so much softer for the suspension than the other bike. That's the immediate thing I noticed because it's not a heart at all. Obviously it's a full suspension. So our time to beat right now is five minutes and seven seconds. Okay, here we go. Now these are 26 inch wheels. At least the wheel base is 26 inches. seem a little harder to pedal. I don't know if it's just in my head. Five minutes and 41 seconds. We're getting close. I think it's a little harder on this bike though. When I compare the way this bike rides to the Overfly, the weight distribution is just a little off kilter. The biggest source of my concerns with this bike, the weight being up higher. Now on a typical electric mountain bike that's designed for going on mountain bike trails, all of that weight you want to be in the center and the lowest point of the bike. You don't want it to be up very high, you don't want it to be in the back, and you don't want it to be in the front. And this is gonna give you the optimum amount of control. And with the same bike, you have the battery up so high, and this causes the bike to feel more top heavy. So whenever you're turning, you're gonna have to work a little bit harder to keep control of that bike. Now it's not a huge deal, uh, if you're just doing some casual mountain bike riding, but the more aggressive the riding you're doing, possibly the more dangerous it could become. So we did five, we did it in five minutes and 41 seconds. Uh, total distance 70.72 miles. Average speed 7.6. So we're a little bit slower. All right, here we go. Last time.
Oh, f oh, snake. Oh, boy, oh, boy. That was a fun surprise. Fuck that up a little bit, so I'm going to cut through here. A little more confident. Almost there. Five minutes, 22 seconds. Average speed, 7.6 miles per hour. Total distance, 0.72 miles. So we didn't quite get the top speed that we expected. And of course, the time it took us was just a little bit longer. So here we are at the end of our comparison. And the big question, can you take this bike on a mountain bike trail? Now I live in Florida, we don't have mountains. I haven't ridden on a downhill trail. I haven't taken it on jumps. Um, but what I can tell you is that this bike is not something that's meant for advanced mountain bike trails. Uh, and there's a couple of reasons for that. They're, the first obvious ones are gonna be the fact that there is a cut right down the middle of your frame. So you can do some pretty good aggressive stuff with this bike, but going down big jumps or drops, you gotta wanna be cautious with just how aggressive you're getting with it. You know, you can handle a couple of feet. I haven't tested it, obviously, uh, the bike's still in one piece. Then you have the concern of this bottom protection piece of metal that's designed to stop the bike from sitting on its chain ring when it's folded up. And that is sits so low that if you were going over a rock or a root that was a little high up, it could whack right into it and send you flying over the handlebars. So maybe you could actually cut that off. It wouldn't necessarily be that hard to do and if you were just really cautious when folding up your bike, you'd probably be okay. So uh, keep that in mind if you decide to take this on a mountain bike trail. Um, and of course, the other thing we've already talked about is the handling of the bike, the weight distribution. Um, there's two things to point out there. Obviously, we have the weight up top from the battery, but you also have the fact that it's a rear hub motor. Now that's not as big of a deal, uh, but it does play into it, especially this being a full suspension. Um, just the idea also that having all that weight in the back is going to create a little bit more drag. Uh, inherently one of the areas that is just out of your control is if you're going to be hitting any small jumps or root drops, the back wheel is going to want to stay down. You're not going to be able to get it to pop up over anything. So there you go guys. Uh, there's the video. Let me know what you think. And if you have any questions or comments, post them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. We'll check you out on the next one and stay safe out there, y'all. Please ring bell before entering bridge. All right, I think we're good to go. Coming through. So much for ringing bells. I thought the rule was to ring bells, guys. Ring the bells and wait. That's the rule. Come on. For, for this bike. 
it has a little bit of ups, but not a whole lot compared to the mountain, but. So that being said, it all depends on how trail you have at home. Oh, excuse me. It's sandy at times. And we don't have rocks. We got roots. And this bike seems to be doing pretty well on it so far. Oh. Horse trail, hopefully there's no horses. Little assist only here. This is fun. Here we are. This is where I need to be. Right All right, going down, hold on. Oh, that wasn't good. Got a stick stuck in. Oh, there we go. Alright. One more. Okay. Oh, I think I got it. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> Freaking stick stuck in there and knocked off my chain. Are you done? <laughs> You guys, are you already waiting for it? Did you already ring it? No, we uh, did not. Okay. That way. We have to go right. Uh, yeah, that's horse. How are you doing? Go ahead, Y'all are faster than me, so you might as well go. <laughs> no, that's a different, that's a horse trail. I think it does come through, like, yes. comes back this way. Does it? Yeah. 